Hi with our senior correspondent, Rick Rocker. It is our man of the night. In fact, the team of the night. I'm talking about these guys. Kenan Jackson Jr., Cursed, and Captain Obvious for the sixth man tag team elimination match that's coming up in just you know, at some point in this broadcast. Ricky, the floor is yours, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be an amazing six-man elimination tag team match still to come tonight, folks, as part of our main event feature of the knit. Uh, Johnny Baba Ganoush here with, of course, Captain O, who will be in action, by the way, at some point, against the Dojo. Titanium, Horvat the Hungarian Barbarian, and Master Ken, whom we haven't seen for almost a year, practically. That's gonna happen later on tonight, fans, but before we go on to our next match, I want to just give all of you people a heads up as to what has happened the last 72 hours. We have been hit by some heck of a storm to close off the summer of 2018. We have received two tornadoes, or as I call them, the Twister Sisters, coming in to destroy parts of Ottawa, Canada, and of course, my own hometown of Gatineau, Quebec. Well, this is serious because this has also not only destroyed homes, but neighborhoods, schools, and businesses. So well, let's just take this opportunity right now to think about all of those less fortunate peeps out there who have no electricity, have no running water, have no uh, cable television, uh, you know, they, they had to put all their food in a cooler. They had to essentially camp out for the next odd day, you know? That's a very serious uh, situation, so let's just take this moment, folks, to think about all of those peeps out there who are suffering. Um, what was that I wanted to say? Ah, uh, yes! We also have, once again, ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight, four dazzling divas who will be the next generation of women's wrestling. We've got Sarah Saber, excuse me, my goodness, must have been that bean I had for, for dinner. Excuse me, Sarah Saber, Joe Kick Puncher, Jenna Jaguar, and BB Endicott, where one of those four women will face up against their respective teacher or trainer later on this evening. Well, I'm done blathering right now, ladies and gentlemen. There will be more reports to come, fans. There's a discussion about Evil Uno, which is now Player Uno's new alternate hybrid character that caused some damage off her, her Vicious Jeremy. We'll show what you had. We'll show you the footage, fans. What happened last month? Just to give you guys a little bit of a little rerun. If you guys have forgotten what happened a month ago, backstage, what happened between Player Uno or Evil Uno and Vicious Jeremy. And uh, we do understand that Evil Uno is in action tonight in a uh, special battle royale as part of our Universal Championship Series. Now I'm done. I'm sure you want to get back into the action. So coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. What is it, Jim? What's happening now? What? It oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening now? Oh, Uno is in action now. Shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go down to action right now, here, at FPW Homecoming.
this club. He is looking ready. He is, he's been waiting since the month of March to be a part of this match. This, ladies and gentlemen, is part of our Universal Championship Series. This technically started in February, but really it, it, got, it got onto a huge leap as of March when Little Mac won a big match that had, um, I think it had, I think it, it had Curse and Titanium, or Captain Obvious and Titanium. I gotta, I gotta double check that, ladies and gentlemen, in our archives. Winger, his competitor number two, fought in April against uh, Kit Trustworthy. Or no, that was like, that was that King of the Ring, excuse me. Yes, he is the NXT champion, but he has that belt. That's the old NXT belt, the new NXT belt. This is the possessions of one Tommaso Ciampa, who beat Aleister Black. A few months back. Exactly. Oh, that tune is so familiar. There he is, Player Uno, sporting a very dark and bizarre uh, mask and costume, as this is his evil Uno costume. Something is wrong with this guy, but yet he still represents the NES club. We've got two NESers in this match. Let's see how well this will go down. But as far as I know, only one man will reign supreme. That's a scary mask. I don't want to ever be in the ring with that guy, and I was many moons ago. And sporting, or representing the NWO black and white, or just the New World Order itself, because there's no wolf pack, it's Big Sissy, Kevin Nash. Bucket of wink wink. And then his bucket of wink wink music. I got my bucket of wink wink. This guy is timeless, he can raise the dead. This man, along with Scott Hall, defeated the uh, Dudley Boys at the War of Champions in the first match of the night. That was back in June. The very night that Titanium won the very first ever 40-man over-the-top rope battle royal. The first one we've had, ladies and gentlemen, in almost 12 years. More than that. I think it's been over 14 years. We haven't had a we haven't had a 40 man over the top, and Titanium was the man that won it. Kevin Nash pinned Bully Ray Dudley to gain the hit to gain this spot in this battle royale. Fucker! But he's, he is as, he's as black as night. I can barely see him through our own video equipment. Okay, 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 now we can... No, I can't see him. I can barely see him. He's too black. Oh, woo, woo. <laughs> All right, so Booker T at Beach Blast won a Legends Battle Royale just to get in to this match. So if Booker T wins this match, he went over, I don't know, I, I, I think it was maybe, it would be over 11 superstars, no, 10 superstars, just to get to this point. Can Booker T achieve greatness tonight? He has a hell of a mountain to climb, he's already beaten 5 men. That was back in July. He's got five more men tonight. We already got one. Le we already got two legends in the ring. Let's make it three legends with Double A, the Enforcer, Arn Anderson. <laughs> 